Gold is down after the metal plunged and gold to its lowest level in almost three years. But just how long will the down last? Uh, let's bring in Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital for Reaction. Peter, I just got to let you know right now, I mean, gold is almost at this $1,200 mark, which uh, we have Phil Flynn from the CME saying the nominal cost of production, and that would be a real problem if this happened. Right now, we've seen a pickup in the drop in gold. Can you explain why we're seeing this sell-off? Well, I think you have a lot of speculators that are selling gold. There's no doubt about it. How much more downward pressure they can exert in the days and weeks ahead, it's hard to sell. Uh, no, but what I do know is that the price can't stay down here. If, if one reason, you just mentioned the cost of production, most of the world's mines can't even produce gold for $1,200 an ounce. Uh, so obviously a commodity can't stay for long below the cost of production because you're not going to have any supply. And that's going to take care of price because the supply goes away, the price has to go up. So one of the things that people have said the reason you want to have gold is the monetary policy, not only in the United States, but also in Japan, is going to bring about the kind of inflation where you're going to need something like gold to protect yourself. But the critics of that say that inflation hasn't even appeared in the United States, nor will it. You would disagree, but it looks like you're wrong. Well, no, I, I think it's the government that's wrong. They're hiding behind these phony measures that purport to tell us what the inflation is, like the CPI or the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. But the definition of inflation is an expansion in the money supply. That's literally what it means. The money supply and the supply of credit are being inflated. The result is that prices rise. But the Fed is not acknowledging, nor is the government, the extent to which consumer prices are, in fact, rising. And one of the reasons they're not rising even faster is because we've been able to export that inflation to our trading partners. That's one of the reasons that the cost of mining has gone up so much. Remember, these gold companies that can't mine gold today at $1,200, 10 years ago, when gold was 300 they were able to mine it at a profit. How have the cost of mining gold gone up so much if there's no inflation? But, there has Peter, been inflation. The price of gold doesn't even reflect it yet. You, you are far more experienced and wiser than me in this area. But i got to tell you, prices in the United States, the, the way that I and regular consumers would talk about inflation, our prices haven't come up. And I realize the PCE from the Fed, 1.1% is low for them. At the end of the day, in English, what that means to me is the kind of inflation that worries me and would propel me to buy gold does not exist here in our country. So make the case as to why I'm well, wrong, because I, I don't think I, I, I am. I would disagree. You know, I talk to people all the time, call my radio show all the time that I do, you know, it, it also uh, tell me how much things are going up. Uh, prices like are what? rising. Just what look, is go what? open what's your going eyes up? and see I mean, what's happening is, to prices. What's going Everything on? People is are going afraid up, that maybe except deflation. for consumer electronics. Okay. No, look, first of all, look at the price of oil today at $97 a barrel and rising. But prices are rising, uh, and they're, they're, they're going to rise a lot faster. And also, part of the, the, what the, what's driving gold down is the idea that the QE is going to stop. It's not going to stop. The Fed is about to ramp it up because the phony recovery that they created is about to evaporate. The U.S. economy is headed back into recession. Ben Bernanke, as he always is, is wrong. And the, the, well, Peter, the, the housing bubble that he tried to reflate is, is deflating. I Prices share are going to roll over and make new lows. I about the economy, and I'm going to be looking at revenue numbers in the second quarter earnings reports that are about to kick off. But I got to tell you, when you talk about inflation, and I'm as concerned about debt and the easy money policy, but when you talk about money supply, they haven't actually put it out there. It's sitting on a computer. It's not the same as printing it. And, and we haven't seen the inflation yes, that the inflation hawks always the, worry about. It's not here. Open. The Fed is buying $85 billion a month of treasuries and mortgages. Where do you think that money is coming from? It is being created into existence out of thin air by the Federal Reserve. And the, and the fact of the matter is they're going to create even more. And eventually our trading partners are going to stop absorbing our inflation. The dollar is going to tank. They're not going to warehouse our treasuries and our dollars. And all this inflation that we've been exporting is going to hit us like a People tsunami coming in from Asia. And it's going to be so bad the Fed gold is not going to dollars an ounce, and now it's down to twelve hundred and ten. I mean, they got burned yeah, on that philosophy, well, which is well, wrong since two thousand eight. Well, hold on. Markets are volatile. Remember, in two thousand and eight. Gold dropped by 35% in 2008. People said, aha, you were wrong to buy gold. Then it tripled in the next three years. I mean, things are volatile. Look what happened to the stock market in 2008. It was cut in half. You didn't tell people not to buy stocks, and stock market came back. In fact, if you go back to the, to the 1970 bull market in gold, 
Gold dropped by 50% in, in 1976 from 200 to 100, and then it went up 850% okay. in the next three years. So markets Peter? are volatile, but it doesn't mean that people who own gold are wrong just because it's going down today. And I think the people who are selling gold, they're the ones that are wrong. They've burned. been wrong for a decade, and they're still wrong. And on that note, Peter, I appreciate your being here. I want to point out again, you are much more experienced in this than I am, just saying what the critics are saying about gold. All the best to you, Peter Schiff.